All right. So which is it? A special session or extraordinary session? You know, with an impending special session being called by Governor Gavin Newsom when the legislature convenes its 2023-24 regular session on December 5th, 2022, some capital observers have asked, is it proper to call it a special session or an extraordinary session? Well, let's take a look at the Constitution and the statutes and the rules and try to come up with an answer. Under the California Constitution, the power to call a special election by, I'm sorry, a special session by the governor is set forth in the California Constitution in Article 4, Section 3B. And it says, on extraordinary occasions, the governor by proclamation may cause the legislature to assemble in special session. And when so assembled, it has power to legislate only on subjects specified in the proclamation, but may provide for expenses and other matters incidental to the session. Now, <clears throat> based upon the language we find in our state constitution, it's the existence of an extraordinary occasion that allows the governor to call the legislature into special session. This is actually the only time that the word extraordinary is used in Article 4. On the other hand, the word special is used half a dozen times in Article 4. In addition to Section 3B, the terms regular session and special session are referenced in several different provisions of the Constitution. For example, Section 8C1 deals with the time a statute uh, enacted a special session goes into effect. Section 10B4 deals with the 12-day veto power uh, that's available that, that period of time after the adjournment of a special session. Section 10F1 deals with fiscal emergency special sessions. Section 12H deals with expenses paid to legislators during either regular or special sessions. So, the term special session is used throughout the state constitution, especially in its relationship towards a regular session. Turning to the California codes of interest, there's roughly 90 references to extraordinary session in California statute. But that term or that phrase is used to reference a specific extraordinary session related to the effective date of a particular statute that was enacted in that extraordinary session. So we see it in statute referencing as early as a 1944 extraordinary session. Otherwise, only government code section 9004 references an extraordinary session in addition to a regular session regarding when the legislature is required to convene during or following either a war or an enemy caused disaster. So in the meantime, there's just over two dozen references to a special session in the California government code. For example, in section 9921 of the government code, it requires the state senate and state assembly to adopt joint rules for their proceeding for each regular and special session. So then turning to the legislative rules, when it comes to the joint rules of the assembly and the Senate, the term extraordinary session is used almost exclusively actually. Joint rule 3.5 relates to the effect of the adoption of joint rules for any extraordinary sessions. Joint Rule 13 deals with the distribution of legislative publications in any regular or extraordinary session. Joint Rule 13.3 deals with the summary digest at each regular or extraordinary session. And Joint Rule 50.3 deals with the designation of all extraordinary sessions. And on the other hand, in the Joint Rules, only once is the term special session mentioned. Now, in turning to the Senate rules, 
examples, the term extraordinary session is used just once in Senate Rule 12. On the other hand, the Senate rules use the term special session three different times, such as Senate Rule 24 that deals with the introduction of bills and resolutions at special sessions. However, it's interesting to note that the assembly rules do not reference either special sessions or extraordinary sessions at all in their rules. Now, in my mind, to get back to our initial question, because special session is used throughout the state constitution, I think that's the better term to use. However, it's clear from the joint rules governing the assembly and Senate and in the legislative publications, the Daily File, Daily Journal, Weekly History, they use the term extraordinary session throughout. So perhaps the day-to-day -day term could be the special session. And in more formal reference, we utilize the term extraordinary session. <laughs>